Well, this next performer, everybody, when they told me he was on the show, I asked him. I said, do we have a 10 second delay? I said, do you know that the show is live? Can you muzzle him? Have you talked with him? They said no to all three. So whatever go down, it's just gonna go down just like that. Ladies and gentlemen, the living legend, Mr. Paul Mooney. I am very proud, honored. The second time I've had this feeling is when I went to the Apollo. And I have opened for all kind of people, worked with all kind of people. I see them sitting there. And, um, and all the white venues and the big shot white places. And I'm being honest with you, I was not impressed. And when I got, because I'm not into what they're into. Some of you are, but I'm not. It's like, no, it's serious. It's like, their thing is their thing. Like Queen Elizabeth, I'm not into that. She could walk through that door right now and I will snatch that purse. I'm serious. I'm into, I take my cue from white folks. They like their stuff, I like mine. We can respect each other. So I'm very happy to be at BET. And when I went to the Apollo, I was home. I started crying. And I feel like I'm at home here. I, and I mean that. Among among my own, while we can still get together now, because your friend will be president, so while we can still get together now uh, as, a, as a team and whatever. But I am real impressed, I'm happy, everybody looks so good, everybody looks wonderful. I just got off a plane, I was at the airport, the airport has changed, the white folks are on orange alert. I said, good for you, I'm on white alert and I ain't getting off it. Because they didn't tell me I couldn't eat at Denny's. They told us we couldn't eat at Denny's. Ain't that, uh, ain't that too much? We can't eat at Denny's. Don't tell us where to eat. Well, then stop trying to seduce black folks. A thousand pancakes, a, a hundred pieces of bacon. <laughs> Two thousand <laughs> biscuits for 99 cents. If you don't want black folks to come there, don't seduce us. Turn that heat off. We won't show up. Serve some cottage cheese, but I am here tonight. I'm, no, I am here tonight. I'm very excited with these awards, and BET has graciously, <laughs> graciously. I know Bill Cosby be mad at me because I'm being very articulate. We all haven't went. We all we <laughs> we we all haven't went to the Sammy Davis Diane Carroll School of Diction like myself, but. Uh, <laughs> It's okay. Anyway, but I'm here to give special awards out tonight. The Mooney Awards, I'm very excited about it. And the first award, the Mooney Awards, is going to be to, put her up please, one of my favorites, uh, <laughs> Condoleezza Brown Rice and Beans. I've been black too long. I'm going to China and get the operation. I can't be black no more. I didn't think I'd live long enough to see a black woman get on national television and lie for white folks just sitting up there lying, very articulately, you know, and just lying, you know, I don't remember, I don't recall, and just lying. Aunt Jemima with a damn degree. And she's under the illusion of inclusion. She better watch Roots. Remember, what was her name, the one that thought she was so special that could read and write? What was her name? You know the one. No, no, uh, print, what was it? Kissing, she thought, but didn't it? Sola, didn't it? Bye, kissy. And they gonna sell us. She always playing the piano for white folk. Master, is I playing the piano good? She gets on my nerve, but some of you like her, so I'm giving her the best actress of the year award. Condoleezza, brown rice and beans. Next, we have Michael Jackson. I am giving him the tragedy award. It is such a tragedy right before our eyes. It's a tragedy. It is. Because they let Kobe go. And them white folks ain't letting two black folks not go to jail in one year. <laughs> Michael is going to jail. It's, it's a tragedy. Black people, Michael is actually our Jesus. He's our modern day Jesus. He is. First they said he was white. Now they're saying he's black. 
and now they're getting ready to crucify him. And Michael has not did any wrong. I don't believe that. Michael has not. It will always make him normal. He has not did wrong. The only thing Michael did wrong was sing. That boy should never have sang a song. He should have been a priest. And then they would have just transferred him. <laughs> Michael gets the tragedy award. It's a tragedy. And next we have... Bill Cosby. I'm giving Bill the Break Face Award because he broke a lot of black faces. Pick your face off the ground. He broke it. He talked a lot of mess. I love it. Bill in his old age and got black, black, black. I've known Bill since I was 18 years old. Until two months ago, I thought he was Chinese. But he's talking all kind of stuff now. I just love it. He's actually turned into Paul Moody because everything he says is on the edge. I just love listening to Bill. No more Jello. No more Jello commercials. He's now doing commercials for Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. <laughs> so Bill gets the Break Your Face Award. And now we have the very special award that I am very proud and very honored. The Coon Award. The first annual Paul Mooney Coon Award. I know it makes a lot of you nervous, but it's the Coon Award. The nominees, oh my God, Hollywood, there's just too many nominated. We don't have enough time. Hey, but beautiful lady, yes, thank you. Stacy J from The Apprentice, yes. Yes, yes, you're fired. <laughs> you're fired. No, they made a mistake. They just hated you. It was not racial, it was facial. They just didn't like you because you're pretty. That was, uh, that, that was white women unite. It was. It was. Thank you very much. You're very beautiful, thank you. And lovely. And Trump is stupid. He ain't even a good pimp. You're supposed to get rid of the woman that don't make your money. He told that white girl she lost the money. He has to go. You understand? But it was a B thing, and he was the biggest B of all because he's stupid, but it's all right. But we know better. But this is a Coon Award. I want you to look at it. And we do have a winner. Excuse me. We have a winner. Oh, my God. It's a tie. It's a tie. Bring him up. The long, the, the long green mile. Oh, my little rat eyes scared in the dark. Oh, they couldn't be here to accept the awards. It's Cooney Jr. Cooney, I said that. I mean, Cuba. Cuba Cooney Jr. Michael Clark Donkey. I mean, Duncan. <laughs> they couldn't be here to accept the awards. I'm accepting. They're too busy somewhere, Cooney. I, I'm going to accept the Cooney Award. Thank you so much, BET. And thank you, white folks. Good night.